Welcome once again. In this video, we're going through Paul's letter to Philemon. Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, and Timothy, our brother, to Philemon, our beloved fellow worker, to the beloved Aphia, to Archippus, our fellow soldier, and to the assembly in your house. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always, making mention of you in my prayers, hearing of your love and of the faith which you have toward the Lord Jesus and toward all the saints. Notice Paul said here, hearing of your love and faith. If you're truly doing what you should be doing, if you're really born again, if you really have faith, you're not going to be able to hide it. People are going to see it. People are going to be talking about it. People are going to know that you follow Christ even before you tell them. That the fellowship of your faith may become effective in the knowledge of every good thing which is in us in Christ Jesus. For we have much joy and comfort in your love because the hearts of the saints have been refreshed through you, brother. Therefore, though I have all boldness in Christ to command you that which is appropriate, yet for love's sake I rather appeal to you, being such a one as Paul, the aged, but also a prisoner of Christ Jesus. I appeal to you for my child Onesimus. Note here that the name Onesimus actually means useful. Okay, keep that in the back of your mind here, okay? Onesimus means useful. I appeal to you for my child Onesimus, whom I have become the father of in my chains, who once was useless to you, but now is useful to you and me. Now this is somewhat funny because Paul, here he said, here's a guy, his name is useful. And he used to be useless, but now he's useful. I am sending him back, therefore receive him, that is, my own heart, whom I desired to keep with me, that on your behalf he might serve me in my chains for the good news, for the gospel, that is. But I was willing to do nothing without your consent, that your goodness would not be as of necessity, but of free will. For perhaps he was therefore separated from you for a while, that you would have him forever." no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a beloved brother, especially to me, but how much rather to you, both in the flesh and in the Lord. If then you count me a partner, receive him as you would receive me. But if he has wronged you at all or owes you anything, put that to my account. I, Paul, write this with my own hand. I will repay it. Not to mention to you that you owe to me even your own self besides. Yes, brother, let me have joy from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in the Lord. Having confidence in your obedience, I write to you, knowing that you will do even beyond what I say. Also, prepare a guest room for me, for I hope that through your prayers I will be restored to you. Epaphras, my fellow prisoner in Christ Jesus, greets you, as do Mark, Aristarchus, Damas, and Luke, my fellow workers. I find it very noteworthy that Paul said here that Luke is his fellow worker. And that stands out to me because we know of Martian way back in the early centuries. He was known as one of the first heretics of the Christian church. And he said the only books to be accepted as Holy Scripture in church is the book of Luke and the letters of Paul. Think about it for a second. What is it between Luke and Paul? Something to think about. Until next time, seek God with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.